Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at the cosine rule, and I'm going to show you a couple of examples. Uh, the first one is how to solve for an unknown side using the cosine rule, and the second one is how to solve for an unknown angle using the cosine rule. Here's a reminder of the actual cosine rule. So we have a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. Now small a, b and c are the lengths of the sides. Big A is the size of the angle. So in the first case, when we want to find the size, size of an unknown side, we need the other two sides and the angle between them. In the second case, when we want to find the size of an angle, we need the size of the three sides. So let's take a look at the first one here. So I have four, five, four and 60 degrees and have an unknown side x. <clears throat> so my unknown side is going to be a. So x squared is equal to b is 5, c is 4, b is 5 again, c is 4, and cosine of the angle which is 60. So x squared is equal to, now you can just type this all straight into your calculator as you see it here. So 5 squared plus 4 squared minus 2 times 5 times 4. Just be careful to use brackets here for these ones. Cosine 60 and that should work out to be 21. So x squared is 21. x is going to be the square root of 21 which is approximately equal to 4.58. So that's how we solve for an unknown side using the cosine rule when we have two sides and the angle between them. Now in this second example, we have an unknown angle and we have three sides. Now it's a little bit different because this time we're not solving for A, we're solving for big A. So I'm going to fill in everything. Most important thing this time is to make sure that the side opposite the angle you're looking for is this side here, small a. So 7 squared is equal to 3 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 3 times 5 times the cosine of x. And we're going to solve for x. Sometimes you might see the cosine formula in a different form where you have cosine of a taken out front. Um, you don't really need to know that because if you know just this one, then you can manipulate it to get it into the form of the other one. So basically we want to isolate this cosine of x so then we can find uh, what x is. So I'll start just by multiplying everything out here. So 7 squared is 49, 3 squared is 9, 5 squared is 25. Minus 2 times 3 times 5 is minus 30. And we're looking for cosine x. Okay, so 9 and 25 is equal to 34. I'm going to take 34 from both sides. So 49 minus 34. And you can see I'm working to get this cosine x on its own. 49 minus 34 gives us 15. I'm going to divide now by minus 30. And I have cosine x on its own. Now 15 divided by minus 30 is minus a half. So the cos of x is equal to minus a half. Now if we have the cos of x and it's minus a half, then I just use my cos inverse. So cos inverse of minus a half is going to give me the angle x. And that works out, if you use your calculator, to be 120 degrees. Okay, so if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.